So um, with mental illness, people get it in the early 20s, so they haven't put m many points into the system, so they're very low income of disability. Most everybody gets about 750, and uh, we don't have housing. There's there's just no private housing, and the person may very be very qualified to take care of themselves, and they don't want to go into a mental home where people take care of you. Um, and if you decide you want to work a part-time job, they take your social security disability away and say, oh, you must be well. Even if you're still taking medicine and maybe even still having some problems, but if, if you make 1100 a month, they take that away, which would be $750. Um, so you do much better just working 20 hours a week and um, collecting your disability. I, I found that out. I was working, and then they, they actually made up numbers. They didn't have my paycheck, so they made it up, and, and they took it away. And it was really shocking, and I could have been evicted, but my, my landlady is working with me on it. Um, being so very poor is, is tough. I really kind of love it because I can sincerely relate to every homeless, poor person I see on the street, no matter what their issue. Between psychiatric care and art school and reading, Shakespeare, um, Dante's The Inferno. Yeah, the metaphysical energy doesn't necessarily go away if you're poor. You may have very good energy. Um, what I want is, of course, financial security to support me and my kids. But the nice thing is being so very poor, I, I see it as morally and ethically wrong to do this to people with illness, you know? My dad turns his back, he's got his own problems, mentally. He, he says such terrible things about black families and he could never support his kids. My dad couldn't, he had to go to his dad. So, I do want a platform. Emily said she wants to get me a platform for World Preschool and there's so many different, like, dot, dark dots to touch on. Um, you know, if you educated the black people, we, they probably wouldn't be going to jail and costing you all that money. If, you know, the, the, the mentally ill might surprise you, you give them stability and see what they can do in the society they live in. You know, if they're always struggling just to, you know, put their head like me on a pocketbook on the star walk because I'm homeless. Um, it's even now like I, I'm not doing the yoga I want it's just too stressful I get up and I I beat the pavement to try to make a living and um, I did call channel 12 I said I'm sound I'm, was, what did a friend of mine say sound is a pound <laughs> and he wasn't not at all <laughs> but no I got the okay from my architects and, and when that happened I said this this could happen. They're visionary too. They could, they could, they could be visionary with me, and we talked about it. So some people just go, "What world peace? That'll happen when Jesus comes back." And I'm like, "Well, it didn't happen the first time, so it probably is not going to happen the second time." He, Muhammad, will be fighting the Pope, Mister Congeniality, but not of sexuality.